So now we're going to go ahead and install Clips. And by doing so, we'll also get the JUnit test framework. So pretty much do this. Eclipse downloads will come out on top here. I'm going to go ahead and just use the standard. I'm going to download the 64-bit, uh, which most of you should be downloading. Uh, if you have a 64-bit uh, JDK, I would certainly do this one. Uh, let's see, we're going to Virginia Tech. So if you want to get the uh, Eclipse newsletter, feel free. I am not going to subscribe. Uh, this is about similar size to the JDK, so it should be pretty quick, not too bad. So the download's completed. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open this, which will expand my uh, tar into a complete folder. Now, let me go ahead and get a new finder window to make this a little easier. What I want to do is drag and drop this into applications. So I'll simply drag my clips folder right in here. All right. And then, uh, for ease of use, I'm going to go ahead and drag my icon down here onto my toolbar. And I should be done. The last step, of course, is I should uh, check to make sure that everything is working. So let me see if I can open up Eclipse. Uh, a warning, I got this from the internet. I think it's OK. Uh, it's going to use the user's Robert Ward documents workspace. That sounds OK to me. And there we go. That was a test project I had previously created, which you can see that it's using 1.8 and it is using JUnit. So both of those things are as we needed for our project. In the next video, I'll actually will import uh, the Assignment 2 project, which will be the last part of Assignment 1.